Hello everyone. Welcome to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you'll learn to create a dynamic paint scribble logo reveal in After Effects. It's not just eye-catching but also 100% editable for seamless logo customization. Without further ado, let's dive into the creative process and bring your logo to life. Let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects, then create a new composition. I am calling it Paint Scribble Logo Reveal. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 8 seconds. Let me import the required files for this tutorial. Select these three files, and click on the Import button. Once imported, drag the paper texture into the main composition. Press the S key to open the scale properties. Reduce the scale to 50%. Drag and drop the logo just above the paper texture in the main composition. Right click on the logo, and choose Precompose. Name it the logo, or any name you prefer, and ensure that you move all attributes into the new composition. With the logo layer selected, navigate to Effects and Presets. Search and apply the Vegas effect. Change the blend mode from over to transparent. Also, change the color to dark gray. Under the image contours settings, switch the channels to alpha. Adjust the segments value to 2. Modify the midpoint opacity value to 1. Set the midpoint position to 0.999. Also, change the end opacity to 1. Now, it's time to animate it. Move your time cursor to 4 seconds. Add a keyframe on length. Move the time cursor to the first frame again, and change the length to 0. Now, let's preview our work. Looks cool, right? Our basic logo animation is ready. Keep the logo layer selected. Go to Effects and Presets. Search and apply the Turbulent Displace effect on it. Change the displacement to bulge. Adjust the amount to 25. And the size to 2. This will add rough edges to our logo outlines. Now, it's time to add the pencil scribbles. Let's import the pencil stroke vector file. Select the vector file, and then click import. Set the import kind to composition, then click OK. This will create a new composition from the vector file. Double click on the pencil stroke composition. Click the toggle transparency button. Select both layers. And press the S key to open the scale properties. Increase the scale a little bit. Now, right click on it. Go to create, and select create shapes from vector file. Select the original layers. And delete them. Go under layer 1 properties, click the small add button, and choose trim paths. Under trim path 1, click the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe on end. Set the end value to 0%. Move your time cursor to 4 seconds, then change the end value back to 100%. Select both keyframes, and press F9 key to easy ease them. Now press Ctrl C to copy both keyframes. Move your time cursor to the first frame. Select the second layer, and press Ctrl plus V to paste the keyframes. Let's see how the pencil scribble animation looks. Cool. Looks good to me. This is what I expected. To change the color of both layers together, create an adjustment layer just above these layers. Go to Effects and Presets, Search, and apply the Fill effect. Change the fill color to light gray. Switch back to the main composition. Go to the Projects section. Drag the logo composition. 
and then drag the pencil stroke composition just below the logo composition. Now, change the track mat to alpha mat. If you don't see the track mat options, click the toggle switches mode button. Let's preview it again. Cool. Select the logo composition, go to the effect controls. Select the turbulent displace effect, and copy it. And paste it on the pencil stroke composition. Our second step is completed. Let's move to the third step, drag and drop the liquid splash footage. This is the ink footage we'll be using. Right click on the footage, go to time, and choose time stretch. Change the stretch factor amount to 75. This action will decrease the footage duration. Select the footage, and press the S key to open scale properties. Increase the scale to 120%. Now, go to effects and presets, search, and apply the invert effect onto the footage. This will change the footage colors from black to white. Finally, search and apply the levels effect onto the footage. Drag this little arrow to the left side, to make the white color even brighter. Move your time cursor to 4 seconds. Drag the footage to start from 4 seconds. Go to the projects panel, drag and drop the logo composition just below the ink footage layer. Change the track mat to luma mat this time. Also, move the logo composition to 4 seconds. Move your time cursor to 6 seconds. Select these two layers and press the T key to open opacity properties. Add a keyframe. Move forward to 15 frames. Then change the opacity value to 0%. Let's see the preview. Cool. It looks perfect to me. Our third step is completed. Now, let's move to the final step. Select all layers, right click, and choose pre-compose. Name it logo build or any name you prefer. Click the toggle switches mode button. Then enable the 3D option. Right click in the empty space, go to new, and choose the camera. Hit OK. Again, right click here, go to new, and select null object. Then enable the 3D option. Select the camera layer and parent it to the null object. Move your time cursor to 4 seconds. Select the null object layer. Press R to open rotation properties. Add a keyframe on X and Y rotation. Move your time cursor to the first frame, then change the X rotation to 55 degrees, and Y rotation to 35 degrees. Keep the null object layer selected, and press S to open scale properties. Add a keyframe. Change the scale value from 100 to 55%. Then go forward to 5 seconds and 15 frames. Change the scale value back to 100%. Move your time cursor to 7 seconds. Then change the scale value to 110%. Let me show you how to fill in these blank spaces. Select the logo layer. Go to Effects and Presets, Search, and apply the CC Repertile effect on it. Change the Expand Right value to 2000. Change the Expand Left value to 500. Change the Expand Down value to 500. Finally, change the Expand Up value to 2000. Change the blend border value to 50%. Select the null object. Press U to reveal all keyframes. 
Select all keyframes. And press F9 key to easy ease them. We need to change the graph for these keyframes. Go to the graph editor, select these two points. And adjust the graph to look something like this. It will make our animation smoother. Let's see the final output. Cool. I am happy with the final results. Congratulations. You have learned to create a dynamic and eye-catching paint scribble logo reveal in Adobe After Effects. You can download everything from my website. If you enjoyed this tutorial, explore my other videos for more exciting content. Show your support by liking, subscribing, and sharing your thoughts in the comments section. Your suggestions are highly appreciated. If you gained new knowledge, consider supporting the channel. Thanks for watching, and happy animating.